guys, girls, and everyone in between. Shulk here, and uh, are we doing updates? Like I said I would. So anyway, um, about a week ago, a week and a day ago, I had surgery, and I made the update vlog last Monday, saying uh, I'd make these every week for the first month. Um, because, you know, from what I've seen, I've seen a few videos, not too many, people don't... People don't continue, my mom's yelling at my dog, people don't continue making these for a very long time, so I want to continue to make them, hope it'll help, because there's a bit of a grey area after a while, and I want to know if it was completely worth it. Anyway, so let's start. On the Wednesday, I didn't get much sleep, like, at all. I wasn't, like, admitted the day before, I was admitted the morning of the surgery, um, so I didn't get much sleep at all. Um... I must have got two or three hours, and I was wide awake. I got up, I got my stuff that was already, I'd already sorted my stuff out, put it in the car, went. I did do film a little thing before, but my phone decided to erase everything on its memory card. Formatting issues. Um, which was very annoying. Because I had quite a lot of pictures on there. Um, of like me and my girlfriend, just stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, so... I got in the car, we went to the hospital, uh, I had to go in through day patients first, which is a bit odd, because I'm there for a week, I'm not there for a day, I'm there for a week, so um, yeah, I went through all the preoperative stuff, they checked my weight, my height, my uh, blood pressure, they actually tested my blood, all that kind of stuff, and then they put me under around, tempted to say half nine. I had the coolest, like, anaesthetist ever. Uh, he's called Dr. Drake, which, it's already kind of a cool name. Uh, and uh, while he's put me under, I was expecting the boring count back from ten thing. And he was just like, um, the first thing he did was, uh, like gave me a bit of it and asked me to tell me when it was like when I felt like I was on my favorite alcohol. I was like fair enough. I told him what it was, and then he just asked me questions and questions, and I, I got lost after like the third question. It was something like, uh, "What do you like about going to Florida?" And uh, I was gone. I wake up uh, coherently at about half five in the evening, I think. It was about half five or half six was when I was coherently awake, and I say coherently because I can remember it. Um, until that point, I was waking up and like saying stuff, and I, I don't remember any of it. Apparently, the first thing I said when I woke up and a nurse saw me was a joke. So we, it's kind of playing from there. I'm not doing much, kind of in and out of sleeping, because you know that's what happens when you're on high doses of uh, medication. And around midnight, my epidural starts playing up. Like, I'm not getting enough pain medication for my back. And they have to call the on-call anaesthetist, I think. It was the on-call anaesthetist. And uh, they give me an update to my epidural. They pop it out a bit more painkillers. But they don't apply it through the epidural. They apply it through, like, a booster thing that's attached to the epidural. Um, unbeknownst to everyone, that broke the epidural. It, this, the update kind of boosted everything, so I was, wasn't in pain anymore. But the epidural stopped working. It, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. Um, so later on in the evening, I call the anaesthetist again. It does the booster again. This time there's more of it. Uh, and I'm fine. Last time I call it, they realise the epidural is actually broken. And that's the reason I keep asking for these updates. So, Thursday morning at like 6, I'm eating cornflakes. Uh, not with milk, just out of a polystyrene cup. Um, and uh, I'm being told I'm going to have to switch off the epidural a day early. And move on to a morphine drip. Um, the morphine drip didn't feel very effective. I'm constantly pressing it every 5 minutes. Trying to get more morphine because it's just not really working. Eventually it works. I get moved to my ward. Uh, first day is largely spent in and out of sleeping because it was really warm but the medication makes you tired. And when you wake up 
from morphine, because you haven't been pressing the button for instant pain relief, it hurts. So you press the button more times and more times, just so you keep getting morphine into your system. Friday was the worst day of my week. Um, on Friday, they, I, I was taking so much morphine, it was making me drowsy. And uh, the drowsiness was becoming a bit of a problem because I couldn't stay awake and like actually do things that nurses were trying to get me to do. And the doctor, I couldn't like talk to the doctors coherently because I was falling asleep a lot. So they hit me with some counter morphine. They injected counter morphine into my system, um, which worked almost instantly and was the most horrible experience of my life. As soon as that counter morphine kicked in, all the pain that was uh, being relieved came at one go. Like a whole lot of pain hit me. I, I felt like I'd been hit by a train. I remember crying. And um, then my chest started feeling really tight, so I was, um, and it was then we realized I had a chest infection. My chest started feeling really tight. I'm trying to breathe, uh, and like quickly, and I'm basically getting... <laughs> I, I couldn't breathe, and I was, I, I legitimately thought I was gonna die. Um, luckily, I listened to the uh, doctors, and um, I was ended up putting on a face mask for oxygen for like two days. Uh, so Friday night I went for x-rays and CT scans, uh, and then came Saturday, and that Saturday was the first day that, start, that was good. From Saturday onwards I had a almost, mostly pleasurable experience in hospital. The physio got me up and sat, and I had been able to sit, I'd been able to get up and walk around. I think Saturday was the first day I washed myself entirely. Because before they kind of like, they put the curtain around you, you roll to your side, you wash your front, um, and then uh, you kind of pull a towel or your pajama bottoms over yourself, and then they come and wash your back, and um, your back of your legs and your bum, things like that. But Saturday was the first day I completely washed myself, except for my back, because obviously you can't reach your back. Um, Sunday they got me up and walking more so and at this point I'm trying to poop uh, which is just not happening um, to be fair it still kind of isn't uh, my, as I found out a fun side effect of one of my medications is constipation which is probably why they gave me the other medication um, so yeah um, that's a thing uh, but um, they, they're giving me regular doses of uh, pills now because morphine was just a terrible idea apparently. Uh, Monday, I'm chest infection gone. I'm on my own. I'm breathing with, by myself, no oxygen. Uh, and I get told, I get visited by my surgeon and get told I should be leaving the next day. So that'd be Tuesday. So I'm really happy. I've had the catheter removed at this point, which hurts. It, it kind of felt like a... I thought it hurt a lot more when it was removed, to be fair. Everyone was bigging it up. But um, it kind of felt like, a, do you know when you get alcoholic wipes and you clean cuts with them and stuff like that? Like antibacterial wipes to clean cuts? It felt like that, it just the stinging lasted a little bit longer and was on my penis. Uh, which is a word I never thought I'd say on this channel. So Tuesday rolls along, um, and I get to go home. So um, I spend most of the day waiting around for my back brace. This back brace is horrible. I will show it to you by the end of the video because I've got to put it on to edit anyway because I'm going to be sitting for a longer period of time than this vlog took to make, and so I need the back brace. But anyway, um, I was waiting around for my back brace. I got all my medication sorted. I've been x-rayed. Um, all the nurses have said their goodbyes. Um, I had said my goodbyes to all the nurses. Back brace arrives. I go home. So uh, we get to Wednesday, my first full day home. Um, it's awkward being home for the first time after a surgery like that because naturally you're taller. Uh, but oddly enough, because I'm taller, Everything around you when you, when I'm standing, everything around me feels shorter. I'm gonna move for a second. Um, everything around you feels shorter, and I, I don't get it so much when I'm sitting down, but when I'm standing up, everything feels a lot shorter, and um, it kind of feels like everything shrunk a little bit. 
even though it isn't, you can tell it isn't, but it just feels like it has. Uh, my hands feel like they're slightly higher than normal as well when my arms are by my side. Which is an odd experience, but my hands in my pockets are still easy. I just feel like my arms are slightly higher. And all that stuff. But uh, being at home is weird because you want to do everything you could do before. But you're restricted to what you can do. Like when I went to get in the car for the first time, because you can't bend, like there's, you can't physically bend. I couldn't get in the car. I, I was kind of banging my head on the car door trying to get in, uh, and everyone was thought it was funny because my family are dicks. Um, love you all. Um, but everyone thought it was funny that I couldn't get in the car. Uh, so Wednesday was odd. I was just getting used to everything, but I was in a lot of pain yesterday because I, I screwed up on taking my painkillers. And um, that's something a lot of these videos leave out. I'm not sure if it's because a lot of the people that do these videos are American and their pain medication is actually more effective because they have higher doses. Or if it's just something that people don't want to talk about. But I feel it should be mentioned because nobody really talks about it. You are in a considerable amount of pain a lot of the time. Like, I mean, I, I'm used to dealing with back pain, I've always dealt with back pain. But, like, I always dealt with back pain and was able to take medication to get rid of it. The medication just numbs it. You don't really get rid of the back pain. And what it feels like is, uh, you're constantly aching. It's like when you've overworked your back and it constantly aches. But at the same time, someone occasionally jabs your whole back with a series of pins. That's what it feels like. It is almost excruciating. I'm, uh, I mean, my pain's starting to kick back in now, but I took painkillers about five hours ago. So I'm actually due another dose soon. But yeah, like, people tend not to really mention the pain, which is quite odd. Anyway, that, that's the end. This, this feels quite rambly, but then I guess it would be odd. Oh, and the reason I'm sweating isn't because it's hot in here, it's actually quite chilly. Um, my medication, one of the side effects is sweat. Uh, so I actually, I'm sweating quite a lot. You didn't need to know that, but you could probably see if I move forward. You can see my hair, it's all messed up and sweating and stuff. And uh, yeah, so um, now I'm going to show you how much straighter I am, hopefully, and end the vlog. Because I've got to stand up. Oh, I'll also show you my back brace. Alright. This. There we go. Almost completely straight. Let's tilt this down. Tilt this up. There we go. Like if I lift my back. Almost completely straight, which is quite nice. Anyway, let's go and get this back brace. Be right back. Alright, this piece of body armor goes down to here. And it's all the way up the length for my bag. Is my back brace. Um, yeah, I have to wear it to keep myself upright, and it hurts because um, your back doesn't really want to stay like that all the time. Um, I, I kind of prefer to lay down, but I'm gonna need to do this to edit my vlog. So, yeah, I endure pain for this. <laughs> I look at myself in the viewfinder, I just look so strange. Anyway, guys, um, I hope to see you in a week. Maybe I'll make a funny video by then, but I don't think I will because I've got visitors coming to see me throughout this week, so you know how it goes. So I will catch you all on the flip side. DFTBA, don't talk to any toy you don't know. Take it easy, and I will see you in about a week.